we watched The Grudge. It was kind of like a remake where, of course, they have like, you know, the the white lady doing real estate in Tokyo, and then she. The oh, apartment that's apartment. right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The over, and it was, then it was terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible, but it's interesting. Like whenever <laughs> I watch The Grudge or any iteration of The Grudge or any spinoff of that. I'm always thinking about the architecture. Like I talked to you about this. It's like, yeah. I took a horror film class and we were watching the original Ju-On and I was like, you know, there's something about the fact that these things are happening in like Western style houses. Cause you remember like in traditional houses, yeah. um, especially in Japan, you have this step and the yeah. step is supposed to keep spirits or energies from kind of passing out of the house into the world. But in Western architecture, we don't have that step. And so it seems like an advent of like colonial control, like Western colonial control of like Eastern Asia that this architecture now allows this phenomenon of the grudge to like pass and enter different points of the world via people's lives because there's no, no one's thinking about, um, technically the, the spiritual in a way about like managing its movement. <laughs>